Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Alienware gaming laptop, and I'd like to do a screen replacement video for you. This would be a step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay, so let me turn it around and show you the model number. Here it shows you that this Alienware 17R3, and if you have the version that is Alienware M17, it is about the same process to do a screen replacement. Just a slight difference, but it should it shouldn't be a, a huge difference that you you can't follow the the video along. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the computer. And this is the screen. So the screen had a cracked screen right around here, so you can see that there's a a line running across. Now the first thing I need to do is to remove the bezel. This bezel here does not have any screw that holds on to it, so you need to have a prying tool to pry it open. Here I'll be using the metal prying tool. Uh, if you have a plastic one, you can use that as well. Uh, technically, you don't really need one to for this process, but I'm but I have it, so I'm just gonna use it. So technically, you just wanted to um, get underneath enough to pry open the bezel. Once the bezel is is open, you just gotta crunch it and not crunch it like uh, crack it. You know, just a clipper to to uh, to open it up. All right. So now here at the bottom is a little bit difficult. The reason why the bottom uh, is difficult to open because it has a double-sided adhesive tape on it. So it's kind of taped onto the LCD screen. So I'm using the uh, prying tool to cut open that double-sided tape. All right, once you have that being cut open, uh, technically you want to lift it up. You don't want to pull the bezel because the bezel is still attached with all this cable. You see all this cable with the board on it? So you need to disconnect that. All right, so go ahead and open up, flip open that white clipper. Uh, you just got to flip it up, flip it up, and then pull that flex cable down, and that's how you disconnect it. Now this one here, you actually have to uh, 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 remove the tape, so there's a black tape on it. Okay, once you remove that black tape, uh, it doesn't have any clipper, so this is just a connector. You can just slide it down, and the connector will disconnect the bezel right here. Okay, so that's how you disconnect this 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 cable. The rest of it, there's a clipper right here. You need to flip it up, and then pull down that flex cable. Now you want to save the bezel because we're going to reuse the bezel. This is for the lighting on the Alienware. Uh, that is uh, important about the not breaking out the cable. Alright, so we come back to this side and the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and get a, a Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and remove the screw. There are four screws holding onto the LCD screen. Alright, once the all four screws is removed, the LCD screen, you can just lift it up towards your body, right? And try not to break the cable yet because we still have to disconnect this cable right here. You see that little clipper? So go ahead and flip it up, this little metal clipper, flip it up, and then slide the cable away from you, away from your body, and it goes that direction. Once you slide it up, just make sure that the cable here, all the pins are not damaged or scratched. Just leave it up carefully. Now if you turn it around, I'd like to show it to you. The screen model number, right? So this one here is B173ZAN. 
0.01.0. All right, so this one here is just a, a 17 inch LCD screen. Go look it up, or maybe on uh, this part right here, CN 02DK4K. Okay, so what I'll do is um, I will have the link in the description below where you can go to Amazon or eBay to buy a screen replacement. Uh, also the tools that you need to have, but it's not necessary. Definite, definitely you need to have a Phillips screwdriver. This one I so happen to have the electric screwdriver, but if you want, you can use the regular twist and turn manually is fine as well. All right, so um, to install back, I do not have the new screen, but I, I like to show it to you the step on how to install. And you just have to have the new screen comes in, do the reverse process by installing the cable. So make sure the cable clip clipper is open. And then you want to slide in the cable. Once the cable is all the way in and push the clipper to secure that cable. All right, then you can flip the screen up. You want to put the screws back on. Right, there are four screws. Just put it back onto that. Right, and then once you have the screws on, put the bezel back on at certain angle and make sure you reconnect all this flex cable. And once the cable is connected, just push down the bezel and the bezel would clip and crunch on the side of the the, the base on the on the LCD. And that's that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. It's quite straightforward. And I hope that this video helps. If you have any question, please comment below and you can ask me for help. I'm more than happy to answer those questions. Uh, other than that, I have a small favor to ask. If you can just click the like button and that would really appreciate um, for you liking the video. Thank you and I wish you the process of repairing a screen is easy and good luck. Take care now. Bye.